We are getting closer and closer to Ready Player One. You don't need a destination when you're running on an omnidirectional treadmill with quadraphonic pressure sensitive underlay. Hello everyone, Otto Early here. So earlier this month, I got the awesome opportunity to visit Virtuix headquarters in Austin, Texas to try out their new VR treadmill, the Omni One, where just like Ready Player One, you can physically run and move around in VR without going anywhere. The Omni One is currently in pre-order and is anticipated to come out later this year at the price of 2,595 plus shipping, which may sound like a lot, but you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Not only are you getting a top tier VR treadmill, but you're also getting a Pico 4 Enterprise standalone VR headset, which itself costs around $900 and is a really good headset. So let's dive into my experience and first impressions of the Omni One. Before trying the Omni One, I got the chance to hop on the older Omni Pro treadmill and experience Omni Arena, which was so much fun and definitely helped get me prepared for what I was about to experience with the Omni One. What's cool about the Omni One is instead of having separate shoes dedicated for use on the treadmill, you wear your own shoes and just put on a pair of overshoes, which come in a small, medium, or large. So it's nice to be able to do it in your own shoes. So when I first got on the treadmill, I did a little introductory course to learn how to move on the Omni One. And what is unique about this treadmill is it offers a full range of movement. So you can crouch, you can kneel, you can jump, which I was a bit too nervous to try my first time on the treadmill, but definitely next time I will keep jumping a try. I tried crossing a very narrow path, which was really quite scary, but definitely helps you to feel more comfortable and trusting of your movements. And yes, you can fall off, which Jay Brett encouraged me to do. Fall off, Rachel. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> and he did so himself, but I didn't feel like dying today. No, wasn't in the mood for dying. Then I got to face off against the CEO of Virtuix, Jan, in Elite Force. Destroy him. Elite Force is a game made by Virtuix that, along with several other games, will be included on the Omni One library. As it was a shooting game, there was a lot of running and crouching involved, so I got a really great workout. The game was so much fun, and I kicked Jan's butt, so that was awesome. <laughs> Yeah. But even being in the shape I'm in, I was absolutely beat by the end of my session. My legs felt like jelly, and I was definitely working up a sweat. I was thinking of doing a hike that afternoon, but there was just no chance. There was no chance after that session. But yeah, it was definitely one of the most fun workouts I have ever had. Dodge! Dodge. <laughs> Since you're playing actual, like, real games and not games that are specific to fitness, you really get into it and are so immersed in the game that you can forget that you're even getting a workout. So that's really awesome. You also feel like a lot more motivated to keep going because you want to win. You want to win. And with this treadmill, because of the range of movement that it provides, I felt fully immersed in the experience and was not worried about bumming into things or hitting the wall or anything like that. Walking and running also felt a bit smoother than other treadmills I've tried, including the Omni Pro. So after stepping off the Omni One, Jan showed us how easy it is to put together and take apart the treadmill. As the treadmill is pre built, all you have to do is slide a few pieces together. There is no screws necessary and it takes less than five minutes to assemble, which is so awesome. Another super awesome feature that I really appreciated is that it has wheels on the bottom so you can easily move the treadmill when needed. Um, this will definitely, definitely come in handy. And it's definitely a feature I wish all of your treadmills had because they're so heavy and they're so, they're so difficult to move. So I'm really happy that they added wheels to this. There's definitely a lot to say about the Omni One and I'll likely delve into more detail at a later date. But in the meantime, feel free to comment below with any questions you have about the treadmill and my experience on it. I will do my best to answer. But as far as first impressions go, I was super, super impressed with the Omni One and definitely a step up from other VR treadmills, I would definitely say. I'll drop a link to the Omni One below if you're interested in pre-ordering or if you just want to learn more information, specs, all that good stuff. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it and hope you all have an utterly awesome day. Oh, 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 oh,